Alright guys, let's take a look at the finding of the domain of a multi uh, multivariable function. So let's say f of x y here is equal to get rid of one minus x squared minus y squared. So the basic condition is that under the root symbol, this expression, whatever it is, doesn't matter what form it takes. That expression for this purpose has to be greater than or equal to zero. So that means one minus x squared minus y squared has to be greater than or equal to zero. So that means when you add out to the other side. You're going to have 1 is greater than or equal to x squared plus y squared. Just add those two terms to the left to the right. Equivalently, you can say x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1. So again, this step here, so if you say 1 is greater than 0, same as saying 0 less than 1, correct? You can just flip the direction, and this is a square here on the y. So this is the domain. Basically, what this represents is a circle of radius 1 in xy plane. Let's make a quick sketch of this. Okay, so we have our z-axis, we have our x-axis, we have our uh, y-axis rather, our x-axis along the negative, and then our y-axis along the... So the domain viewed here would be something like this pretty much. It's like a circle, but again, because you're looking at it in three dimensions, it's perhaps a bit distorted in appearance. Because now in this picture, any value from along the edge works, and then any value from the interior also works right here. And so that's the domain, the circle. And that is a unit circle, which means over here, this is x equals 1. Uh, back here, this is x equals negative 1. This here is y equals positive 1. And over here, this is y equals negative 1. And I type stuff on a computer in real time. Okay, like that. If you like, you can always check. So like if you do, for example, f of 0, 0, that should work because first of all, 0 squared plus 0 squared, is that less than or equal to 1? Well, 0 less than or equal to 1, that's true. So 0, 0 is within the domain. So you try to compute the function value. So f of uh, 0, comma 0 equals, and then you do 1 minus 0 squared minus 0 squared, but that's just square root of 1, which is 1. But that's just the value of z, in other words. So in other words, still, we have a point here. That this corresponds to on the graph. So what is the point? The point is 0, 0 for x and y, or z has the value 1 here. Leave a like if it's helpful.